talk about a few uh, everyday carry EDC items that I carry on my person every day. Let's go in the house. I'll be right back. All right. I thought we'd talk about a little bit about EDC today, everyday carry items. Um, had a few questions about asking what I everyday carry and stuff like that. My everyday carry really varies um, from day to day. As most of you know, uh, I'm an EMT, so I work on an ambulance, so obviously I can't carry a firearm uh, when I'm working uh, on the ambulance every day. Uh, but, you know, off duty and stuff like that, I carry a firearm, you know, every day, and as well as other items. So, my EDC varies, again, from day to day. You know, obviously I don't carry all these knives and stuff like that, but, you know, day to day. For the most part, my go to uh, weapon, uh, as far as firearms, is the Smith & Wesson shield, uh, 9mm MMP shield. I uh, love this firearm. Uh, it's just an excellent concealed carry gun and I usually wear that in my uh, Coyote Mountain Outdoors uh, inside the waistband holster. So check out my buddy Casey over at Coyote Mountain Outdoors. He makes holsters and stuff like that so I can get you hooked up with one of those. He also makes outside the waistband holsters too. So that's generally my, my primary firearm uh, that I'm going to carry. I also carry a spare magazine as well and that magazine is in my actual EDC bag that I do carry uh, every day everywhere. So anyway, Smith & Wesson Shield. Uh, obviously my wallet right now is just a it's a VanQuest uh, wallet. This is the RFID um, one from VanQuest. Awesome wallet. I love this thing. It's very small which I kinda like because I'm so tired of using big bulky wallets for so many years. So. Small little wallet. I got another one on the way from my buddy uh, Eric over at Twenty Dollar Bandit. Uh, he's making some new uh, wallets out, and uh, that'll be coming in soon. So I'll show you that one when it comes in. Flashlight. I've had this flashlight for a while. This is the Jet Beam uh, Raptor RRT uh, Raptor. Uh, it's a CR123, as well as it'll take a double A. It's like 500 lumens. I like this a lot because I can adjust the uh, the brightness. And it also has an SOS on it. So I like this because I'm just the brightness. I got this from my buddy Casey also over at Coyote Mountain Outdoors. Got this in a trade from him. So I really love this light. I know there's other lights out there, but I just really love this light. A lighter. I don't smoke. However, I always carry a Bic lighter. You know, never know when you might need to start a fire. Never know when somebody else might need a light. You know, you never know. It's came in handy many times. Over here, I know somebody's going to ask. This is my secondary firearm that I'll carry sometimes. This is the uh, Glock 29 and 10 millimeter. Great firearm, lots of firepower with that. Uh, I carry a spare magazine with that when I carry it. And uh, right now, until I get another holster for it, uh, I don't have an inside the waistband holster for it. So right now, I use a uh, a Galco uh, Yucky. Uh, I believe that's how you spell. I say it, Yucky uh, holster. It's outside the waistband holster for that leather. Uh, anyway, so let's talk about knives. For the most part, I've, I've realized over the years not carrying a multi-tool, how often I actually need a multi-tool. So I carry a multi-tool. This is just the Leatherman Sidekick. I like this a lot because it has the pocket clip on it. And it's got the functions that I need. It's got a knife, it's got a saw, it's got a screwdriver, both Phillips and flathead, and it's got a can opener. Um, you know, that's you know, in a little... A little file here but you know that's why I like it uh, it's got the things that I need on it and the things that I use every day so I that I carry every day as well the other couple of knives vary uh, here lately I've just recently got into the open nails these are awesome th little knives lightweight I mean this thing gosh it probably weighs just a couple of grams or so it's so lightweight and this is the um, the carbon this is the carbon steel version, and this one is um, three and a half inch blade, I believe, is on this one. This is the number eight, Open L number eight. So great little things for the for the price. I mean, you really can't beat one of those. This here is the uh, CRKT. This is the M1612 LE. This is the Tanto point. I've had this knife. I kid you not. I've had this thing for 15 years. Uh, and I've lost it many times and found it. My uh, my wife and kids got me this 
not long after I started working on the ambulance, a uh, long time ago, like I said, fit probably more than 15 years ago. Uh, Tanto Point, uh, it's you know kind of dull right now. I don't carry it much anymore. As you can see, it's been used. It's been well abused. I've cut many a seat belts off of people with this knife over the years, and um, it's it's done a lot. So it's it's held up. So that's the CRKT, the M16. Another knife I just recently acquired. I got this actually for, uh, for Christmas. This is the Cold Steel Pocket Bushman. This thing is a good knife. I mean, there's there's a lot of good, a lot of good and bad reviews out there um, of this knife. Uh, it has a like a four or four and a half inch blade. I mean, just enormous blade on this thing. But it's it's a great knife. I wanted to, to I wanted to get another larger fixed blade knife to kind of go along with my multi tool. In the event that I couldn't carry a fixed blade, now I like to carry a fixed blade uh, whenever possible if I can. But when I can't carry a a fixed blade, I'm going to carry this because this is a beast and I can do just a, just about the stuff I can with fixed blade. I mean, I've seen this thing abused like crazy. So that's pretty much all I carry uh, on my person. Now, uh, again, this is just all my person. Now, we'll say a flashlight for those of you that don't carry a flashlight. I never used to carry a flashlight, but over the past few years, I've carried one and I use this thing, I kid you not, just about every day. A flashlight is just invaluable, in my opinion, in everyday carry stuff, especially when you start carrying it. Um, that's really, like I said, that's really about all I carry on my person, other than, you know, my lock pick set. Uh, you've seen those in previous videos. That's in my Sabar Gear uh, Survival EDC uh, bag. I'm getting another set of lock picks to go in my wallet. Uh, like I said, when I get my new wallet from uh, my buddy Eric over at Twenty Dollar Bandit and Triple Seven Gear, I'm getting a new wallet from him. So. I'll be putting a set of lock picks in there, so I'll have a set of lock picks on me. Check your local laws for lock picks and stuff like that. Uh, folks in my state, um, we're allowed to carry them. They have to prove uh, criminal intent. So, you know, if you get caught with them, it's up to the uh, prosecutor to prove criminal intent. So, but I'm not using them for any th any type of criminal activities or anything like that. So, you know, I guess it'll be up to me to prove that as well. But anyway, I digress. So. And that's like again, like I said again, that's basically my EDC that I carry on my body every day. Like I said, it varies from day to day what I'm doing and whatnot. This shield, it's just awesome. It's so slim. I mean, it's it's awesome. Uh, the Glock, it's a lot fatter, also a lot heavier. So, you know, I am looking at getting a Glock 19. Uh, so, to add to this. Anyway, just a few items, everyday carry items. Like I said, I carry every day. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to um, PM me uh, or comment below. You know, always like, share, subscribe. You can find me on Google+, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. Um, always remember your PPE, plan, prepare, and exercise. Thanks, folks, and you all have a great day. I'll see you on another video.